What's up guys, Codemasterzir here, bringing another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to defeat the Pursuer. Now, I'll be showing you a couple different methods. I found a really, really easy method for fighting this boss, and because of it, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit more of a legit method, if you will. Because I remember back in Dark Souls 1, when I showed the really easy method for Ceaseless Discharge, people thought it was cheating, and yada yada, they said it wasn't hard enough, and so I'll, I'll be showing you both methods. Before I go inside the boss fight though, take a look over here real fast. Now if you look over by where my souls are, you know where I died last time, you'll see a ballista. You can actually use this ballista and if you look a little bit more to the right, there's another ballista right there. That's the one that I'll be using for the first method. Do note though that he can actually destroy them so be careful and also they just shoot straight and so it's kind of hard to hit them with it. It might take a few tries but it definitely makes the boss fight a lot easier. So here we go, method number one. Go ahead and run on in. So when you get inside, try to position yourself in line with the far side ballista, but then go to the right a little bit. Go ahead and parry his attack. The reason for this is that after he dashes at you, you need to have a little bit of cushion space for when he starts following you as you go towards the ballista. Get behind the ballista as fast as you can. And as you can see, that does a lot of damage. Hit him once, and he's dead. I mean, this just makes the fight so much easier. Like, ridiculously. For beating him, you get the Soul of the Pursuer as well as the Ring of Blades. So I'm just gonna quickly go over a different way to fight him. More of a legit way of fighting him where you just, you know, roll around him and melee him the whole time. If you don't feel like using this method. Or maybe you can't parry, I don't know. So for this method, just go ahead and go on in. And just kind of hover around right here, don't run up towards him. Wait for him to dash towards you, and then just try to roll directly behind him by either going slightly left or slightly right. After his swing, go ahead and hit him a couple times, but make sure to leave enough stamina to roll away. Again, parrying is very, very helpful in this fight. You can even parry with your bare fist, which I think looks kind of funny, because he's got this big old blade and he just swings it and you just kind of, whatcha, backhand it out of there. It looks pretty cool. You can block most of his attacks, but it drains a lot of stamina, especially if you're not, you know, a heavier, heavier build. Now, there is one attack that you really need to watch out for, and that's called Cursed Blade. He'll bring his weapon back and he'll start to turn blue, do not get hit by this one. It will do a lot of damage and it will curse you, which will lower your maximum health. The best way to avoid this attack is to just strafe towards his shield. It'll be easily avoided at that point. This method is also a fairly easy way to defeat the boss. It just takes a little bit longer than the, you know, the rushing in parry to the ballistas, which is fun to do. It just, you feel great when you go in there and do that. It's just like, what time? And you get to the ballista and, and he's dead. Well guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like, maybe a comment, maybe even subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, peace! If he jumps up in the air like that, you can easily dodge it by just rolling straight towards him. So the speculation that I was talking about with this guy. As you can tell, he looks a lot like Ornstein from Dark Souls 1. Now whether or not he is actually Ornstein, 